If you need to write three equivalent fractions for five sevenths, here's how you do that. So what we want to do, we want to find another fraction that's equivalent. It has the same value as five divided by seven, just that we have a different numerator and denominator. We could multiply five over seven by one, but that would just give us five over seven again. How about we multiply it by two over two? Two over two, it's still one. We're multiplying by one. We don't change the value, just the numerator and the denominator. Five times two is 10, and then seven times two is 14. So five sevenths and 10 fourteenths, they're equivalent fractions. If you divide five by seven or 10 by 14, you'll get the same decimal answer. Let's try another one. We could multiply it by three over three. And when we do that, we're multiplying by one again, and we get in 15 21st, that's another equivalent fraction for five sevenths. One last one. If we multiply five sevenths by seven over seven, again, just one, we get 35 49ths. And all of these here are equivalent fractions to five sevenths. If you divide the numerator by the denominator on each one, you'll get the same thing as if you divide five by seven. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.